All right, so Triple G returns April 9th, uh, Saitama Super Arena in Japan. Um, of course, fine. Uh, Ryo Murad is to were originally supposed to fight back in December, it was December 29th, December 5th, or 31st. Can't remember, but for Japanese New Year, uh, where the fight would have been the most lucrative because in Japan, China, I think New Year's Day is really a big thing for them, you know. So, but that got postponed because Japan was had something to do, like they was restricting people from coming to Japan because of COVID. But I think now they may have lifted those restrictions and so the fight's back on. Triple G hasn't fought since the fight was uh, Sarah Meta. Uh, that was what, December 2020. Mirage hasn't fought since what, November 2019 against Stephen Butler, I believe. So both guys are coming off a long period of inactivity. We see how Triple G looks. But yeah. Alright, so the rematch between Jamel Charlo and Brian Castano, Castano is being rescheduled for May 14th. Um, obviously these two were scheduled to fight what back back in what March fifteenth actually so that would have been what a uh, week after or a couple of weeks ahead, you know. But Castano had to pull out because uh, you know he injured his bicep. But apparently these two are going to be back for May fourteenth. Um, Jamel obviously both men haven't fought since their their first fight, which was back in July, and this will be what ten months, almost ten months since their last fought, you know. Uh, you see how Castano is when he turns up to fight. If his bicep will be kept, um, will be okay by the time these two fight. But thank God the fight's been rescheduled. There was talk that um, Castano will have to fight a mandatory in what, Team Zoo, something like that. But it seems like they've been able to get the rematch happening. And we need an undisputed champion from 154, so it's great. So, anyways, David Lemieux. So whatever, David Benavides and David Lemieux fighting uh, interim title fight set for May twenty first on Showtime. So they say interim title fight. What they talking about? Is it for the W? Yeah, the interim WBC titles on the line somehow. Um, now since David Lemieux moved up to one sixty eight, um, he's fought what Bursat? He got dropped twice in that fight, and he's he fought a couple more times against people I don't really know. And I hear all this hype about David Benavidez. You know, he's this killer and blah, blah, blah. And Canelo's scared of him. But who's he fought? Anthony Durrell? That's his best win. But this is the same Anthony Durrell that went life and death with Avni Yildirim. Never mind the fact that Canelo, like, went through Yildirim with ease. But Eubank fucking Jr. knocked out Yildirim in three rounds. Undefeated Yildirim. Knocked him out in three rounds. Back in 2017. You know? That's his best. That's his best win. The guy that went life and death with Yildirim. The guy that went through the, you know, had the toughest task against Yildirim. While Eubank Junior, you know, disposed of him easily, and Canelo just basically walked through him pretty much. And then David Benavidez is now fighting Lemieux. But who's Lemieux fought since he's moved up to one sixty eight? He's fought nobody, you know. So, come on, man. They need to stop. Like, come on. Like Canelo says it best, you know. People say he's ducking this person and that person, but these people aren't even fucking fighting each other, you know? So, yeah, they've been talking about this fight for a while, scheduled for May 21st, and I can't wait for people to continue to hype up David Benavides for him beating David Lemieux, who hasn't done anything since then, up to 168. So, and when was the last time he had a good win? I have no clue. So, anyways, that's David Benavides and David Lemieux, interim title fight set for May 21st on Showtime. Now, it hasn't been confirmed by Khan himself yet, but apparently he's looking to uh, um, activate his rematch clause for the Kelbrook fight. This has got to be one of the most pointless rematches ever. You know what I mean? Like, it's, we, we all thought Fury Wilder 3 was bad, but like, come on, man. This this fight was a battering. Uh, like, Khan got bad. Like, Khan spent all his years running away from Kelbrook trying to wait him out, trying to age him out. And he still got fucked up easily. And now we people want to see a rematch for that? I mean, come on, man. Like, stop it, man. And these guys are already, these guys were already washed up back in, um, like when they just fought, you know? These guys could have fought years ago. And now there's a possibility we could see a rematch. 
of two washed up fighters of a fight we're supposed to see years ago. Yeah, I'll pass up on that. It hasn't been confirmed by Khan, but I'll pass up on that. Now, that's not to say I won't watch it. I will watch, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I will watch. But come on, man. We need better fights than this. Like, come on. You know, let's just let's stop with fights like this. You know, we already know Kelbrook's the better. We know Kelbrook's going to fuck him up. Like, what's the rematch going to fucking prove? It's going to prove nothing. That's that's what, that's what it's going to prove. All right, so when I first read this, I was thinking, what the fuck did I just read? Reagan now is recovering after a freak accident at home. Vision is affected. Now, what happened to Reagan now is that um, he was using a pressure cooker and the pot exploded and it went into his eyes. And apparently he's lost, like, what, 20% of his vision, you know. And he's, he's been hospitalised um, for it until, actually, Friday or something like that, American time. So he's lost 20% of his vision, or 20% of his vision is affected, actually. I don't want to say he lost because it makes it seem like it's per- permanent. Um, <clears throat> if I'm reading in an article, you know, if you know certain things are confirmed and the tissues regenerate, then rigor down might actually be all right. But if, you know, other things occur, you know, with his retina and such, then he can have an operation and, you know, that could affect his boxing career. But that's really crazy, man. Um seems like he's on a he's not on a good streak you know he lost to Casemiro <laughs> lost his other Filipino guy he fought around what a week ago and now he's suffering from this freak accident that's affected his you know his um his vision so he's he's not you know he's he's not <laughs> he's not in a he's not having a good luck charm right now if I want to call it that you know you know he's having a he's having bad luck right now but Hopefully things go well with Rigandau, but that is crazy to go through that. But anyways, just a couple of news that I didn't manage to catch up on when it was released. And for first, I'm out.